Okay. Uh, okay. In might as well introduce yourself to everybody. Let the world know. Guess what? Here's here's another great rapper. It's going to be on the on the major scene soon. Yizzo, y'all, you already know who it is. The Bull J Capital P. Twist, not swag. Soon to be college grad. What's going on with y'all, man? Oh, congratulations on that. Uh, yes, what, co what college? You gotta, you gotta uh, promote. Cristal University. I'll be graduating with a uh, major in communications with a business certificate and a minor in sociology. Congratulations! That that is something f to be very proud of, honestly. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. So, it helped me out with uh, my music a lot too. Oh, it did. How yeah. did you, how did you do that? Um, pretty much just off of like just personal interactions with people. I was able to meet different people and get different personas and different um, perspectives of. The whole music industry and how people react to music um, opened me up to different genres of music instead of just hip hop. So it was definitely like a big help just off of being on a college scene, and it helped me realize that I'm not the only type of person in the world. Like it helped me become more diverse in a sense. Okay, now how did the communications major help with like is you know maybe like with the technical side or so they um, help with like the technical side or? I think it just helped me with the simple fact that I can speak a little bit better than most people <laughs> like I can actually switch it so like I can speak slang and then I can also flip it and then be able to have a real business communication skill tactic. I speak two languages proper yeah. English proper English slang that's it yeah. <laughs> sorry to all the Spanish speaking people out there but right but on um, the same ticket like it just helped me like be able to like use power words which pretty much like engage people a little bit more which catch people's attention a lot more and how to keep people's attention and how to be able to run the room when I'm performing whether it's um, rapping or just speaking to the crowd I'm not just on there like hey my name is JP like now I'm like yo what's yeah. going on my name is JP you're all so over like, the stage versus exactly instead of just standing in one spot because that's not fair to the audience who paid to come and see me perform and I'm just standing in one spot. I've seen some bands, that's actually in my criteria. It's more than just the music, it's the, the stage show, the crowd interaction, and even getting, you know, getting as far as the, yeah, as far as like, you know, equipment permitting, I know the length of the chords, I mean, but get out into the crowd. Right, you know, so it's you make people a part of the experience versus just okay. Well, guess what? We're up there listening to yet another music. You know, right? Because I can listen to your songs at home. Yeah, or, but I'm coming to see you perform. I want to see you put on a show for me. Yeah, or you can, you know, a DJ. I've seen it where people, people were like, well, you can tell the difference between a live band, a DJ, or a jukebox up there. You know, it was like I've seen that already. So, but you try, you want people to be entertained and become. A part of more, a, a part of it to a point where your shows versus, you know, versus just stand and listening that makes to it. They want to come out and see you even more, or even support you a lot more because they feel that you have that connection with them. Like I always want to have that connection with my support group. I don't even like calling them fans. I like calling them a support group mm -hmm. because I rely on them to make me want to keep doing music. Right. Like I look at them as family because at the end of the day, they are the people that I'm talking to about my problems, my struggles, my heartaches. You know, like those are the people who's taking the time to listen to me. Yeah. So it's, that's like a family member, a close friend. So that's how you gotta treat them when they come out and just show you that love. If they showing you love, give them love back. And also that, to me, at least, you know, to me, when you do that, it'll make you know, they'll spread the word more a lot easier about you. You know, it's you know, it's, cause especially in the social media world, word of mouth is more powerful than anything now. Yeah, definitely, especially in this generation. Yeah. Now, how did you get started in music? Um, actually, I started when I was 14. I'm 23 now. I'll be 24 in April. God, I feel old. <laughs> but um, pretty much like my pops passed away when I was 14. And um, pretty much instead of like just lashing out, even though I did lash out, I did get into a lot of trouble. I became the knucklehead and stuff like that. But I wrote poetry a lot, like just to kind of like put my anger on paper. And eventually it just kind of turned into a song which ended up getting praised when I was rapped them for my friends and family members and stuff. And then like I did my first show in my high school and then I got a whole bunch of love for it. And then I was just like, I got kind of like addicted to the fact that I can make people react the way that they reacted off of my words yeah. and the songs. So I'm like, wow, like if I could do this once, I'm pretty sure I could do it again. And then eventually like it just became an all the time thing. And, I just grew a love for it, so like now this is something that 
just knowing the fact that I can make people feel a certain type of way just by me making a song or having an influence on somebody who isn't used to the music scene, that means a lot to me. Okay. I like the fact that people can relate to something that I feel or relate to my pain or struggles or even when I'm having a good time, when I'm talking about, you know, let's fill up these red cups, let's yeah. do that stuff, let's have a good party. You know, let's You're in college, you college kids are experts on how to have a good party. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I have a song called I'm With Whatever and it's pretty much just talking about us having a good time. Like we had a we having a party at a house. I got a video on YouTube. Like we just do a hot we do a house party. And we just shot a video, like a real live music video during the party. So like it was it, so it was kinda of like impromptu almost. Yeah, like so it's like everything Oh, that this looks like a good place to shoot a video, let's do it, okay. Yeah, so like everything that happened in the video was for real, like it wasn't staged or nothing, but And it wasn't reality TV where they cut where they cut down a week into what, forty five minutes maybe? <laughs> right. Now but um you know uh, kicking staying with you, how did you evolve from that, that point, you know, where at fourteen and then, you know, you went to college, and how did your music evolve uh, along with that? Um, pretty much, I guess, like, my music just grew with me. Like, just like how your mindset changes when you're, when you're younger to when you get older. The same will go with my music. Like, I feel like as my mind expanded, so did my music. So instead of just rapping about, like, the money, cars, the clothes, so did, like, my, my pretty much my priority switch. So instead of just worrying about cars, clothes, and money, I became a little bit more based on, you know, being happy. Mm -hmm. Like when you're older, you think about, I just want to be happy. I yeah. just want to do something that I feel comfortable doing and being happy at it. Yeah. That's versus what I versus killing yourself versus killing yourself for the rest of your life at a job you may not like, exactly. you know. And it's like, oh wow, well, look at the multi, you know, look at the, look at this huge house I have, look at the cars. Well, you're really happy. Well, money makes me happy. Uh, Only though for so long. Yeah, and especially with several years ago, the way the economy proved it. Exactly. You know, it's it was like, bam. I tell you what, we're gonna take a break here and we're gonna pick it up, you know, and you know, we got a few more questions, by the way. Thank you very much. The, um, I actually like it when we skip around a little bit, so that's why it's <laughs> you know, when you mentioned about college, it's like great starting point, you yeah, know. Yeah, it is a smooth college point, but yeah, deeply appreciate it, family. Yeah, no problem.